Hey there, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies, and today I'll be discussing the recently revealed Ensemble system from Enphase Energy, and if you should buy into an Enphase IQ system now to be able to integrate with the N-Charge battery when it's released. So what we know so far, while much is still being kept behind closed doors, we do know Enphase has been working on this system for several years now, and it all revolves around the IQ lineup that was released in 2018. Ensemble is Enphase's term for a complete system which would be solar panels with the Enphase microinverters, the Enphase Envoy, and the new battery N-Charge system. According to Enphase and some other sources that we know, the N-Charge battery will be off-grid compatible along with the new IQ8 microinverters and the current IQ7 microinverters that are available today can be integrated with this system. This is a huge step forward for Enphase because up until this announcement, they've honestly been lagging a bit behind when it comes to off-grid capabilities. So some rumors about the system that are still unconfirmed from Enphase. First, the battery is supposed to be around five kilowatt hours. It's gonna be a wall mounted system and have four IQ8 microinverters built into it. The batteries are modular and they're supposed to allow for easy microinverter replacement if one goes bad, which is a pretty big improvement given the previous generations of Enphase batteries, you had to replace the entire unit if the microinverter failed. Another unconfirmed specification for the Ensemble system is the backup capability. It should be around 50 amps, which is in par with leading battery companies like Pika Energy, who was recently purchased by Generac, and Zone in Battery, which too was purchased by Shell Corporation. Tesla currently offers only a 30 amp backup capability system. Now we don't have pricing as of yet for this unit, but we are speculating for a single end charge battery, which was, should be around five kilowatt hours, to cost around $5,500, which is a great starting point and is supposed to be scalable up to a whopping 20 kilowatt hours, which is really, really good. Though, this is still unconfirmed. Now, the last thing I wanna to touch on is the release date. So, this has taken Enphase several years to develop, and it was initially rumored to be released in 2019, which sadly, you know, it's 2019 and we don't have an N-Charge system. But Enphase is, has assured us that the Ensemble system would be available in Q4 of 2020. This is a ways away though, and given that many of their competitors are making way through the battery storage system and backup markets, it's kind of sad that they're taking this long, but it is what it is. Now, my biggest concern for Enphase Energy at this present time and their ensemble system is their ability to keep to their word for this release date. It's bad enough they had to delay it a whole year, but the longer they take to release it, the less incentives that will be available for consumers like yourselves. Now remember, the federal tax credit decreases after this year, 2019, from 30% to 27%. And then in 2021, it'll decrease again to 22%. And then it's completely gone for residential projects. With that said, I wanna ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and you know, make sure to hit the bell icon so you can receive notifications on future videos like this. When we get more information, we're gonna post another video. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know what you think of the Enphase Ensemble system in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Until next time. If you or someone you know lives in Southern California and you're interested in getting a hassle-free quote, visit us online at pacificsuntech.com.